Thursday, I think. Um, we're about to go to Fort Funston. So just waiting for Jet to wake up. Jet's my brother-in-law. We're going to pick up my best friend, Ian. Um, and then we're going to go to Fort Funston, run some sand dunes. So yeah, this is a day in the life with J Squared. <laughs> Taking hell effort. 47 degrees, 7:06 a.m. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. Oh, baby. On the way to pick up Ian, though. Really? Look, that's so crazy. My mom would be so pissed, though. But I'm sure I probably wouldn't, mom wouldn't post dance. that. <laughs> <laughs> no way he got the big baller brand hoodie. Look at him. Look at him. What? Oh my god, he is a big, he's a big baller! <laughs> oh, big baller, baller brand! You already know what the vibe is. Oh my god. If you want, yes sir, let's go. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> sir? Sir? Oh, <laughs> That's hot. We did come ready. Yeah, we did. <laughs> the real reason we're here. Honestly, we do have golf balls, but... Uh, we have basketball. I don't think so. No, you want these slides? Bag go crazy, huh? That's a high club bag. Yeah. This is like. Yeah, I know. Shit, bro. <laughs> okay, the sun is kind of nice, though. No, God. Hold on, Jet. Let me get a nice See, dramatic shot of you, bro. We have to get to the lower <laughs> where we're be able to put on that course. No I'm shot, not. we get there. We just run on the water, bro. That's we should good. just do crew. Honestly, I'd be loving the crew in a cup. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you think that's what heaven looks like? Look, look at this, bro. Definitely yeah, what heaven looks like. <laughs> it's kind of scary. Uh, uh, I've been there. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> my fucking angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there every day with you guys. Oh yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Got to the bottom of his dude. But yeah, I don't know. It's like 7 30 or something. Day. It's 7 36. You know, we out here at Fort Funston. You know what it is. Week three. Big baller brand. Week three. Coachella program. You know the vibes. Just trying to get shredded out here. We really are trying to get ready for Coachella though. So <laughs> <laughs> just fat boys trying to get in shape. So here we are. This is week three of being at the dunes. And then usually we work out at like five at the gym so what do you say we are super late because jet woke up super late motherfucker <laughs> but we're here we made it and the view is beautiful so we better get this working the dunes do be doing it <laughs> I hit recorded job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now, these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D, D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and do me, bro. Making noise, use a beat, bro. Which is the front? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
see that I'm staring right into it or it's a huge ass? That's the front. I guess we'll I guess we'll never know. Honestly, workout doesn't even count. Forgot to turn on my workout, so it didn't even happen. Alright, let's run it back. Run it back, turbo. Fuck that. Can you bench press for me? Shit. No, you rate prejudice? No, it's like a discount, I think. Yeah. So yeah, every time we run the dunes, we walk the beach for like 15, 20 minutes to get back to the car. And later there's some stairs all the way up there. That's just tiring as fuck. But usually here we just have like our random ass conversations, talk about different theories. Yeah, such a nice way to start the day. I'm not saying shit. We're just guessing. Okay, so let's say you had the opportunity to just know everything, right? Yeah. No. So you had a choice to know everything, no, but you would die in three days. Three days? But you know everything about the universe ever. I don't think you I'd have all this knowledge, but you die in three days and you, you know. I you, know how to live then, right? I know how to die. No, but you're, you're for sure just gonna die in three days. Oh, oh. But like, you could tell anybody about everything, but you just die in three days. It's just, I don't I think, think they believe me. I don't think you'd be able to live life correctly if you knew everything. That's true. Just well, you, it, like, you'd be dying regardless. Three but in your three days. Like in your personal life, you feel like your life's a lie. Yeah, facts. I think that's like the, Yeah, that's true. Or the, you just find out this shit's all a simulation. The harsh reality of it, it's like you weren't even living life. Yeah. Which I guess after three days you probably want to kill yourself. Yeah, number two, is that? Yeah, so this is So after our nice little cool down, we usually walk around that way, walk up all the stairs, but we've gotten lazier. So we just go up that path and walk up this hill. And it's just as tiring as running all those other hills. Oh my God, look at the gang. <laughs> oh, good morning, <laughs> have a nice day. And that is the top of the stairs. Alright, so 9.06 a.m. Uh, just dropped off Ian. We tried to go to Jamba Juice, but I mean, that shit was dead. All the power in the on the entire block was dead, I guess. So we're going to go home, shower and stuff like that. Everyone's going to kind of do their own thing for a little bit. And then later we're going to grab lunch, get some, get some poke. And Let's then see. after that, Warriors game tonight. So for me, just go, go to the game super early, shoot some pregame stuff, shoot the game. And then, yeah, so... Whatever else happens in the day, just grinding it out until then. Say good morning to the little baby. Hi. Hello. So I'm all showered and shaved and everything, all changed up. Um, not as ugly, but so basically just to talk a little bit about like my morning routine and everything, um, and it kind of changes. So this is kind of a different day just because we, we only do the dunes once a week. It just so happened I decided to start vlogging on this day. Um, but typically, so we go to the gym at like five in the morning. We'll be there till about 6.30, get home. So after I get home from like my workout and everything, what I'll do is I'll have like my little protein shake. Um, I'll get into my journaling. So I'll usually journal for about maybe 15 minutes. And then after I journal, go into some stretches. After I stretch, go into my meditation. So usually I meditate for about 15 minutes. Um, so 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. And then after that, that's kind of when I'll start to get into a little bit more of the work. So um, right now I'm reading this book called In the Zone. So one thing I'm trying to just like really hone in on is just like figuring out how I can get into the zone of just like being in that space where I'm just creating and just like having every everything be so effortless. Um, so although like I might not be an athlete in the sense like obviously like you know competing or anything um, I just want to be able to lock in and like look let's say I'm shooting or anything like that um, just being able to really lock in and just be there be super present um, so I want to be able to get to that point and do that with everything that I do so that's why I've been reading a couple things on just like sports psychology and just like what being in the zone really is and like how these different like great athletes are getting to that point so just trying to apply that to my own life um, but yeah, so I'll get into the reading. And after that, it's just kind of like whatever work I have, it kind of depends from day to day. Um, some days I'll have to like just send out emails or just like 
um, do a bunch of different things, um, make some edits or like, you know, brainstorm some ideas. So it really changes from day to day, but that's kind of the basic structure of it. Bye bye. See you later. I got him this morning too. Ah, you're talking. Okay, bye. Nope. Get the kicks. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs>back with the boys yes sir back with the boys about to get some poke none of my underwear is washed so i have to wear these so. <laughs> wait, wait, <actually? laughs> is that why you're wearing them yeah i was wondering why i thought you were about to go to the gym after i actually don't know should i feel like this elective i wore these under the sweats <laughs> my sweats this morning I, I thought you were just saying shit just to say shit but yeah we better get some poke nom 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 But yeah, in the restaurant they were like, you have a YouTube channel? And I was just like, nah, I'm just starting out. So it's, this shit feels super weird. I don't know if there, somewhere I can show the reflection, but this shit looks hella big. Yeah. There's no way of showing it. Jeff Glenn gave I don't know. <laughs> at <YouTube. laughs> Did you change your name? I don't know. I think it's still, I think it's still FPS Jet. Oh, uh, cringe. Like FPS Jet on YouTube. No, I'm, gonna, so I'm gonna link stop. it in the description. Please don't, please don't. He's super tough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I forgot what the third one I have is. I have, this is like the first one. This one's cool. Uh, back home. It's about 2 o'clock, so I'm gonna go take a nap, sleep until 3, and then leave for the game at 4. So, good nighters. Ah! Done with my nap. Top of the morning. Look, come on, Jerilyn. Come on, Jerilyn. I don't want to. My pants aren't buddy. Say hello to the to the vlog. I just woke up from my nap. You have to say hi. Hi, vlog. Hey. Yeah. Who wants to give this a shot? I I'm hungry. What is that? Um, Sisig Langanisa pasta. Okay. Tell me how you feel. Ew. Mm. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Yes, sir. How do you feel? Turn it, turn it, turn it. How do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, you got transition. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. All right. Turn down the music. All right, full disclaimer. This... The footage right now and for like probably the rest of the video is a completely different day than what was in the rest of the video so when I was going through my like making my edits and everything I realized some of the footage had gotten deleted I guess or didn't make it to the hard drive for whatever reason so um, just to continue on with the day in the life um, I typically head to Chase Center around 4.30 um, the game starts at 7, so just kind of getting there a couple hours beforehand just to get some pre-game stuff um, and just like say what's up and everything. So get there at 4.30 and then shoot the game. So um, whatchamacallit, I'm probably not going to show too much of like behind the scenes of the game just because I, first of all, I don't want to really get in trouble by anybody. <laughs> so um, just a heads up, like that's kind of what it looks like. Like I'm just going to go to the game shoot some pregame stuff for a couple hours, game starts at 7, shoot that for a couple hours, and then I'll catch up with you guys after I throw like a little bit of b-roll on or whatever, but um, definitely not going to show too much of the game or like anything like that, just because like logistically I don't want any issues, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys a heads up, right now I'm on the way to the arena, so...
so it is 9:40. I'm just hit, sitting here in my car in the uh, in the garage. Game just ended, so I'm gonna go ahead home, um, start importing things to my computer and everything, and then I have to go home and sleep. So basically, just start. Let me turn off the AC. Um, basically, it's gonna be the same thing again, except a little bit earlier tomorrow. So gym at five, and then kind of just repeating the same thing that you see in the video, except like some days I don't have a have to shoot a game or anything, but but like on those days I'll typically have like some sort of a shoot. So. That's typically what a day in the life looks like. Um, to end the video, I'll definitely like throw in some photos from a these last couple games and everything. Um, just because I'm, I wasn't able to show you guys some of the B-roll or like really show you guys a full behind the scenes look. Just because, like I said, I don't want to like overstep anything. So, um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I definitely enjoyed making it and just you know just kind of taking a step into the whole YouTube thing. For me, it's really just, I want to document my life a little bit better, and hopefully one day I'll look back on these videos in like 10 years, and they'll be super cool. So, for me, it's just kind of like home videos from before. So, you know, for me, that's just my way of documentation, and you know, people, just people from all over the world get to watch the video. Sorry, I got distracted by the people walking, and it's just part of me getting used to the whole YouTube thing. and getting used to like talking into a camera and not feeling super weird about it <laughs> so appreciate you guys uh let me know what you guys would want to see in a future video um definitely leave a comment below subscribe if you haven't already hit the thumbs up you you know the whole deal so appreciate you guys as always this is j squared signing out